welcome to the first vlog ever. This is super exciting, but super nerve-wracking at the same time. Today is going to be kind of get my life together, get my shit together day. As you can probably see behind me that it's super freaking messy in here. So we're going to try to figure it out. I am not sure how this is going to go, but I'm really excited anyways. So we'll see. I hope you love it. As you can see, everything is super crazy in here. So I have a small business. It's called Colors by Steph on Instagram and Colors by Steph on Etsy. I do custom tie-dye pieces. So this is kind of like my mini little headquarters for it. These are all clothes that I might get rid of. I need to try on. And then this is just some of the extra done pieces. Then I have a lot of um, like white ready to be tie dyed pieces. More stuff I need to try on. We saw a little bit ago, this is Goodwill stuff, extra bed sheets and stuff that I don't need anymore. Stuff for my sorority that I am now an alumni of. So I gotta send that to my lineage. I need to change the litter box. This is my little desk area. Clearly the bed needs to be figured out. More tie-dye stuff. Packages full of stuff that I have ordered. Bras I'm going to donate to a woman's shelter. And different things like that. Yeah, it's super exciting. I don't know if I like vlogging with this camera attached to a tripod or not. I feel like it's super big and clunky. But we'll see how it turns out. I might have to do it on my iPhone. And then <clears throat> now we're in my bedroom. I just made my bed, but just have a couple random things like laying around that I need to figure out. I just got this rug yesterday and my parents had it. So I had two little rugs on either side of the bed. So got to figure out what I'm going to do with those. Should probably clean my bathroom. It is literally the worst thing to clean. I love cleaning besides cleaning my bathroom. I don't even know. More specifically, the shower. I don't mind anything else, but the sh shower cleaning is probably by far one of the worst things you could ever do. I don't know why I despise it so much, but. So I live alone. I've been living alone. This is probably like two and a half, third year living alone. Um, so I'm always listening to YouTube videos, listening, watching YouTube videos and um, listening to podcasts. So one of my favorite people right now is Abby Aslin and her Gen Z girl podcast. I'm obsessed with Abby. I feel like she probably even knows my name because I reply to her stories and I watch like every single one of her videos. I'm from Florida. She's from Florida. I feel like we have a lot of similar experiences. She's starting grad school at University of Alabama. She went there for undergrad, but I'm starting grad school there too. So I feel like we're like the same person half the time. She's so cute and down to earth. So definitely recommend watching her. Much morning toast, girls gotta eat. I go, oh, I'm such a big podcast person because living alone, like, I don't know, the silence is kind of deadly. Like I love being alone, independent, queen here like i do everything by myself but the silence is something i can't handle so it's kind of like my little daily tip so kind of trying to figure out this youtube stuff right here <laughs> but i need to work on my bama ready orientation program i'm on unit three but there's like four modules and i have to take a test and respond to things in Slack. Not used to this whole online school thing. Wake does not really have a good online program, so I'm not really used to it, but yeah. See, analytics, zero subscribers. Totally new. Anyways, I should probably not show you that. This is kind of boring to me, not gonna lie. It's kind of cute though, I like, transforming your priorities into goals. I gotta write down my priorities and then take them into goals and then post them on the priorities channel to keep me accountable and then take a quiz. So let's get doing that. Just started.
started pouring out. <laughs> Let me go make sure my cat is not outside. Don't worry, there's places that he can hide that he won't get wet. Oh, we'll hide downstairs. Make sure he's inside. Let's see. Nope, there he is. Hi, Smudgy. So this is Smudge, my cat. Very important. And then this is Pepper, my dog. They are quite literally my best friend. Oh, baby. Pepper is such a sweet girl. She's so excited that I'm saying her name. <laughs> Smudge is sweet to me and sweet to some people, but he definitely doesn't like very many people. He loves to bite. That's his vice, I should say. Well, good thing I went down there. Notice it was raining because he was outside. <laughs> Don't worry, he's fine. Look, there he is. <laughs> oh, my assistant is coming with us. <laughs> Best assistant money can buy right there. Princess Roni. So her name's Pepper, but we call her Pepperoni. Roni for short. She's love of my life. <laughs> All right, let's get back to working. Still haven't eaten, so that's what we need to do. I really, really want a Chick fil A, but like, I shouldn't. But I need to go out and buy some dye that's not for cotton because I accidentally ordered these sweatpants for someone that were, of course, not cotton because I'm dumb and didn't check. So I need to figure that out because I already did the hoodie and if things don't match and you're not even. Oh God, this is not gonna look good. So I'm looking for this. So that's what I need to do today, my errand of the day. Sure. Find something else crazy to do and not do what I need to do. I did another module for Alabama. The orientation stuff's getting boring and maybe I'll mess around with some bleach today if I end up going out and getting the dye. The bleach will be fine. I got a couple cool shirts, graphic tees to bleach, so I'll have to figure that out. What should we make for breakfast? I really want waffles. Well, I really want Chick fil A. But I think we're gonna make waffles. 
just because it's easy and yummy. So these are you good, Pepper? <laughs> she always growls at dogs. Pet, you're okay. So these are the. <laughs> Okay, so these are the Thick and Fluffy Power Waffles by Kodiak Cakes. I'm obsessed with Kodiak Cakes. I have their, um, what is it, pancake mix. So good. I saw on Molly Bailey's channel that she found s'mores ones at Target. If you know me in real life, s'mores are like everything to me and more. But like I can't even put into words how much I love s'mores and how they taste. It just makes me want to go to Target. <laughs> Every basic white girl ever. Cause now I'm out of these. So I'm like, huh, I should go get the s'mores ones. But anyways, they're protein waffles, 100% um, whole grain. They have 10 grams of protein. Definitely not the best for you. They're 230 calories per waffle if you cared. I mean, they're not the best for you, but you're also like getting waffles with protein in them. So, better than eating normal waffles from like Eggo. So, while I wait for that in the toaster, butter out and heat up some maple syrup. maple syrup. <laughs> Probably vinegar. I always mess up the maple syrup. Like it always explodes in my microwave. I don't know why. I guess because I'm heating it for too long, but I don't want it to be cold. Like this head, like I'm looking at the camera as if I can see myself. These are what they look like. It's kind of hot. Nice thick. The pancakes are definitely a little um, not fluffy. I don't know how they made the waffles fluffy, but when I make the pancakes, they're very small. Not small, thin. They're thin. Usually, even though I have a table, my dog just farted. You good? I hope you heard that. <laughs> um, I usually go sit on the couch because I don't know. I don't like eating on the couch. Probably not a great habit for me, but I mean, we do what we can. I can easily sit at the table.
but the TV is by obviously. So I would rather watch YouTube videos <laughs> while I eat. I think she's scared of the camera. <laughs> Are you scared? I think maybe it's the tripod. Pep, don't be scared. Alright, well, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna eat, I'll spare you the eating montage, I feel like I'm not a cute eater, so. Okay, so, <clears throat> I don't know if that's gonna block the sound, so I'm gonna vlog on my phone, there's Kitty, um, while I go out, so I'm just wearing this t-shirt that says out of the office, I'm really not sure where it's from. BB Dakota. There we go. So I'm wearing this shirt from BB Dakota. This is out of the office. Super cute. Very thick white t shirt. Love it. Then I'm wearing these Lululemon Align leggings in this like green camo print. I love them. They're so flattering, like adorable, so soft. You know, it's probably like 100 something degrees outside here in South Florida. But we're wearing them anyways because comfy. And then I'm wearing my high top Air Force Ones. Broke these out of the closet just to fit the fit. Felt a little fit the fit. Great one, Steph. Felt they gave the similar vibe that I was currently wearing. And then a hat is obviously Adidas because it says Adidas on it. So yeah. We're gonna go to Joanne's Craft Store, which is similar to Michael's, if you guys don't know what it is. They are the only ones that have orange synthetic dye, like anywhere. It's like sold out on Amazon, sold out on Walmart's website, sold out in Walmart. So let's hope they have it because this order has been delayed because of this. So we're gonna go check that out. And then honestly, I feel like I'm gonna go to Target because Joanne's is my Target and I have no reason to go really, but I'm gonna go because who doesn't? All right, let's do it. about to take so long literally everywhere i go is so sold out of tie-dye i seriously don't understand i thought people buying out tie-dye would be done by now because like look oh, coming for me looks like there's no orange dye okay well i found this there is polyester fabrics and nylons. I normally only use red dye, but I mean, they're sold out. So this is gonna have to do. And I'm just gonna walk around because the store is fun looking. Is it just me or have you always wanted a Cricut? Like I want one so badly, but they're so expensive. Oh, I guess they're on sale here, but. <laughs> Still, like, look, it's like over $200, and I'm like, am I really gonna use it, or am I just gonna like buy it, use it for a week, and then never touch it again? I don't know. Me, the impulsive bitch I am, makes me want to buy Cricut so badly right now because they're on sale. Okay, well, they have this mini one. <laughs> it's so stupid, but like. Oh my god, I just want a cricket so badly. Like my t-shirts and stuff would be sick if I had a cricket. You're like vlogging on your phone, front camera is weird. Oh, okay. 
just got in the car. Almost forgot my water bottle. You guys know me. I went to Week Forest. I'm sure you recognize this water bottle because everyone knew me from this. And I'm sure you could not hear me because I have the AC all the way up. Saying that this water bottle is the best thing I've ever bought. I'm sure this is going straight. Cute. Cute. How does one this? Okay. Well, this is a Hydro Flask water bottle. I think it's a 40 ounce one. Yeah. 40 ounces. It is seriously my best friend. If you ever see me out without a water bottle, at least in my car, I'd pay money because I literally have it everywhere I go, no matter what. Let's do it. Okay, just left Goodwill. Definitely was in there for like 30 something minutes. It's a lot of t-shirts. I got a couple, $13 worth or something. So that's exciting. Probably by the time this video is up, it's gonna be up on Sunday. Um, I'll have those t-shirts listed on my Instagram page. Colors, um, colors underscore by underscore Zep. <laughs> Underscores are annoying to say, oh my God. But anyways, so check them out if you haven't already. They're gonna be a bunch of bleach dye shirts. They're like graphic tees. I'm super excited just to give it, give the custom tie dye a break a little bit and kind of mix it up. Yeah, super excited. All right, I'm definitely not going to Target. Oh my God, kill me. I think I'm gonna get Chipotle though. Cause that sounds delicious. And it's on the way home. All right, let's go. I'm home now. Got the Chipotle on the couch. Shoes kicked off. Ready to dive in. Yay. So my assistant and I, Roni, are gonna be working more on my orientation stuff. Who knew it was gonna take me this long? This is my best friend. I don't understand how someone could be this cute and lovable. Look at you. Her tail's always flapping. Pepper. 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 Okay. Going on my walk. Sadly, she can't come because she's doing her heartworm treatment. She has heartworm, so she's not allowed to do any physical activity. As you can tell, she's sad because she knows I'm going to leave her. Sucks. I'm not putting her in the cage because I just feel bad. Um, so I'm wearing the same leggings before. I'll wear Brooks running shoes, and then this is just a Lululemon top with a built-in sports bra. Not supportive at all. That's why I only walk in it. But it's cute and it is nice because it's like a million trillion degrees outside. So I'm going to try to walk four miles, see how that goes. I know I can at least make it over three, but then I always get so thirsty. So I think I'm going to try to bring a water bottle, even though I'm going to have like 10 things to hold. <sighs> All right, let's go work out. Almost done walking four miles. It's taking me. 68 minutes. Probably gonna be like 74. Oops, <laughs> taking me a long time. It's getting dark out. Sorry, the lighting's terrible. My hair is in a bun. I'm sweaty. But shout out to Call Me Candid and Pretty Basic for getting me through walking because I've been listening to them. Yep. I cannot wait to eat. I'm starving. But we'll see you at home. Okay, so I just got back from my walk and now I'm making dinner. Just chopped up a sweet potato and threw it in the air fryer. Then I'm gonna take this ground chicken breast and um, stuff this red pepper. I love red peppers and throw some cheese on it. Now will be my dinner. 
It's 8.25, so I'm eating later. I normally like to eat, but that walk took a long time. chicken breast with some cheese, mozzarella, and cheddar, and um, a red pepper. Trying to eat better. Hot. <laughs> I've been trying to eat better, healthier. As you're sitting next to a chocolate cake I made last night at 10. But, balance. Okay, so I ate dinner, watched a couple YouTube videos, then hung out outside with my pets, walked Pepper again, my dog, and now I'm gonna head upstairs, just kind of chill out for the rest of the night. It's 9.26. Um, so we'll kind of see what I get up to. I'm probably just gonna not really do much. I think I'm gonna work on, talking on your phone is hard. <laughs> my battery, camera battery died. So now I can't even use my camera. I'm at home. Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna work on making an intro because that'd be fun and exciting. And like, what else am I gonna do besides like, just like lay in bed? We love a thirsty pup. <laughs> it looks so funny with this. I should probably just be holding my camera. I need to get a vlog camera. It's not so huge, like my face, or a smaller tripod. I don't know, I kind of like this tripod though. But I'm about to get in the shower, as you can see behind me. And then I'm gonna show up for the rest of the night. <laughs> in bed now just chilling i'm turning on lipstick and lattes new vlog she just posted her name's grace she's also one of my favorite youtubers grace and abby aslan are my favorite youtubers honestly they're so underrated they should have millions of subscribers but i don't even think each of them has 100k which is so crazy to me so you want good motivation, Grace is hysterical. I actually have talked to her and um, sent her a tie-dye set, So, and she wears it all the time, so it's super cool. Um, she was so pleasant to um, talk to, 
and get to know. So I'm super excited about that. Just going to do some emails, probably work on my intro for vlogs and stuff. Kind of play around with that, watch some YouTube videos, learn. I'm probably going to use Adobe Premiere because I think that's the software I'm most comfortable with. It's a difficult one, but it's the only one that I've really used besides like iMovie. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my first day in my life vlog. This was super crazy. I actually really enjoyed it. I'm like, does it make me a narcissist that I liked filming, my, filming myself all day? Because I think it might. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much. Please subscribe. Turn on channel post notifications, I think it's called. And um, so you get notified every time I post. I'm going to try to post twice a week, Sunday and Wednesday. Definitely Sundays. Might do Sundays for a little and then kind of ease my way into twice a week. School starts next Wednesday for me, so I'm going to have to kind of feel out how long school is going to, like how much school is going to have to be a priority for me. And also I have an internship and kind of actively applying to some jobs and other internships, you know, to expand my marketing career. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I'm so excited to be finally doing this. Love you guys.